Hello and welcome to Moments with the Monsignor here at the historic Church of St. Patrick in beautiful Toledo, Ohio. Uh, right behind me is uh, a new statue that we are bringing to our parish. It's here to be blessed later this month, but will eventually wind up out in front of our church, Brendan the Navigator. There are four great saints of Ireland, obviously Patrick, this is the church, historic Church of St. Patrick after all, but there are three others, uh, Bridget of Kildare, uh, Columba, uh, more famous as the patron saint of Scotland, and uh, Brendan the Navigator. Brendan the Na Navigator was born in the late 400s and uh, traveled all over as a missionary, a monastic missionary, founding monasteries, but going to see the world and share the good news of Jesus Christ. When one reads his journals, we can see that he traveled much of Europe, he made it to the uh, Near East, he made it to Africa, and a couple of the pages of his journals, of his travels, sure sound like he discovered America way back a thousand years before Christopher Columbus. Wouldn't that be great to say this was an Irish uh, continent long before it was Italian? At any rate, <laughs> St. Brendan, his feast day is uh, the middle of May, the 16th, uh, one of the four great patrons of Ireland. He's considered one of the 12 apostles of Ireland, too. There were the, the 12 great saints who together um, kind of went out into the world. Uh, Irish monks couldn't stay home. They wanted to be evangelists. They wanted to be on the road. They wanted to share the good news. And each one of them left behind numerous sites, numerous places where Jesus Christ is worshiped today, uh, 1500 years later, because of their work. It certainly serves as an example for all of us to do the same, to go out and share the good news of Jesus Christ with everyone we meet. Well, I thank you for watching Moments with the Monsignor. I hope you'll stop by someday and see our beautiful image of uh, St. Brendan. Out on the yard, we have uh, uh, St. Bridget of Kildare, just behind me in the high altar, you can see St. Patrick. And one of these days we hope to add Columba, the fourth of those uh, great Irish saints. Thanks for watching Moments with the Monsignor.